Hello and welcome to Kentucky. We are at modern Kentucky, or I guess more modern Kentucky. <laughs> it is the Arca series, and we're about to head out for qualifying. I just bought this. This is uh, probably the last oval I didn't own, uh, at least specifically the last NASCAR the oval. I would say, like I don't own Monza, so I don't have their like interesting oval, but kind of surprising I uh, still didn't have this one. This is probably the last NASCAR oval I didn't have, but thanks to some Christmas gift cards, I was able to easily afford this track, so thank you Santa Claus for that one, <laughs> and uh, we're here. To hopefully have ourselves a good race, though I am still learning this, uh, learning this track. The uh, quirks this one has compared to Legacy, and I still didn't have very much experience at Legacy either, so... Uh, we'll see how it goes. It's gonna be, uh, of course, a pretty strong field, I believe. 4k strength of field, so... Yeah, pretty strong. <laughs> Understandably so. First race of the week. Bit tough to get the car turning through three and four there. It's it's very strange here. Not really like any other intermediate tracks. Uh, it probably looks pretty similar, but I assure you, it's 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 just got a weird set a weird banking. Doesn't quite feel like any of the other intermediates, which is good. I like a unique track. But I just, uh, I'm probably not going to do so great. Still having to learn it. Got a Q lap in. I'm halfway okay with that. I, I got the apron a little bit and went into the second lap, so. Uh, not so great there, but that's okay. I feel like I could have done much better. I feel like there's a lot of time I can still gain. Like, that was the best one and two I've ever done right there, for example. Optimal is a 379. Just uh, having a having a tendency to overdrive three and four, I think. So I think maybe I want to tap the brake just a bit on entry. Probably want to get on that seam. I remember at Legacy Kentucky, the seam was a big part of how you get this get around this place fast. Maybe not so much as uh, on the modern Kentucky here, but maybe in three and four, maybe that'll help me out. So I'm gonna make sure I slow down. Yeah, I feel that. That feels pretty tight. So um, I think I'm gonna take it easier in three and four. Maybe have longer tire life. Maybe try to get on that seam when I do throttle up. And uh, we'll take what we can get. And maybe learn for next time. Get a little bit better with each attempt. But we've got Larry Pace on the pole. That's not too surprising. And of course, uh, lots of familiar names. So lots of people like to run this first time slot that we know. Some names you would recognize from the K5 Championship if you are familiar. We also got Lewandowski in here. Oh, hey, Mark as well. I'll give him a good luck as well. He says good luck. Let me just drive with my elbow for a second. <laughs> I'm like not fully committing to typing or driving right now, so it's like I'm doing bad at both. But we got a thanks you two out there. <laughs> so lots of uh, good drivers in here, I uh, expect. So hopefully that means some clean racing, but probably also going to mean <laughs> it's going to be tough to finish well. A top 10 would be fantastic, I think. I'd be very happy with that, so. I've got, uh, I've still got the grape car. I've kind of uh, grown attached to it. <laughs> I did change the number up a little bit to, like, uh, it's got black number. I think that looks nice, a little bit more unique. If I knew anything about making uh, paints, I'd probably try to add my own stuff to it, but I don't know anything about that. I looked into it and I'm like, that's the end of the session. Uh, I don't know much. I, I'm I'm lost. I got lost immediately, and uh, I'm like, I, I drive the car. I don't know how to make it look good. <laughs> so, 
get this back to where it was supposed to be for later when we check out incidents and uh, all right time to hop into the car Make sure our settings are good. I do my 12 to 1 as always. Steering offset negative 15, like I usually like to do. Although last week it was a little bit, it didn't feel quite right. Oh, gross. We got the sideways start here. <laughs> Session last lap. All right. I'm ready. I'm pretty excited. I, I'm excited to experience the race here for the first time. Like I said, I did do Legacy Kentucky before, but not this one. And it does seem to be a little bit different. Probably going to give a different experience. And I don't get too many of those anymore with the NASCAR ovals and such. Or oval racing in general. Because I've been to most places. So, fun stuff. Even if it means I'm less likely to do well. 35 laps long enough I will want to take it easy in 3 and 4 particularly when you look on the entry to 3 lower banking over there means uh, you can really get on your tires harder than you expect if you don't back it down a bit And I'm sure I'll uh, learn plenty as this race goes on as well. Kind of like that green on the car in front of us, the 22. It's a nice green. I'm gonna be on the outside as the 10. You are out of tires. One We're out of tires. Oh God Almighty! How are we rolling right now? We have no tires. That gets funnier every time I say it. <laughs> hey, Shane's got like a Coca-Cola Zero Sugar car. That's interesting. He's always got the Coca-Cola car, but he's got like the Zero Sugar version. That's fun. I'm thinking it's a second gear start. You might be able to get away with first gear. Maybe uh, if you're the leader, maybe get a jump or something using it. But I think I'm going to do second gear from where I'm starting. Got my brake bias all the way back. In fact, uh, I'm gonna put it back in the car as well. No reason not to. I don't think. Get as much rotation as we can get. Bad to go green. Stay focused. Okay, car is off. Here we go. All right. Got oh, a good jump. Got, had to hesitate just a tiny bit, but nothing too significant. I noticed it's pretty easy to accidentally oops come get the wall and turn one entry that got loose real quick catch that why are we three wide who's putting me three wide right now on the first lap Don't much appreciate that, <laughs> but oh well. Just trying to get my footing here, and they're trying to take me three wide and such. <laughs> I don't quite have the feel for it yet. I don't think I know exactly what I need to be doing to get on the right rear, for example. So we'll see how tire wear ends up. Well, like I said, a top 10 would be just fine. So I'm not feeling too bad about where I am right now. Okay. Getting some rotation. It's really interesting, like, it feels like we're in the red with the revs, like, really early. I 
guess I'm glad we're not blowing the engine or anything. Kind of have to just trust that the baseline setup's going to be okay. It really doesn't want to turn on the entry to three. It's very interesting. Setup seems okay though. It seems like we're it's loose enough that you have to drive it a bit. And you're not just playing the don't kill your right front game. Still play that game, but it's not the only game you're playing because you also have to not spin out on exit. Makes it interesting. Makes it fun. Lots of movement in front of us. Feels like there's a lot of people scooting around. Right on the back end of Dale Earnhardt here. Oh my Jesus, I just followed him into the wall. You led me astray, man. Did I not already say it too? <laughs> that turn one will jump out in front of you. Well, I've done that thing where you knock your wheels out of alignment. This uh, car's not turning me exactly right anymore. Well, that was just dumb. I was looking at the guy in front of me, and uh, he took me to the wall. So that's not going to help anything. Felt like we were making up some ground, too. I don't know if that was good or bad. Might have just been being too bad on the tires, but... I don't know what it is. Maybe something to just about the way the, uh... Oops, oops, oops. Someone's getting loose up there. It's not me, even though I was, too. That's not terrible. The, the steering's just a little bit off, but it's nothing too concerning. No one. There's Gavin. Gosh, that a uh, eight's pretty aggressive. Oh, they're touching. They're touching. Scary, scary, scary. Interesting track for sure. I obviously feel like I've hurt myself <laughs> with uh, hitting the wall. This might not go as well as I would have hoped by doing that to myself, but having a fun time still. Following Gavin still right now. Shane in front of him. And getting loose. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Gavin had to evade. Not gonna take a three wire thing. This is kind of crazy. So we're in the top ten again after I lost it. I lost my top ten privileges earlier. Overdrove that just a tiny bit. Go 
Can we get to Gavin's inside? Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Car pushes a little bit. Go low. Hmm. Still there, hold your line. Really weird apron right there. That was a 52.5. Go low, there is a car on the high side. Clear outside. Whew. It is quite loose, that's for sure. Car still feels okay though, it's not getting too tight or anything. So we get around Gavin, hopefully I did an okay job <laughs> holding my line and everything. Whew. Really got to get up on the wheel. So ninth place, where we are right now. We got a group of three in front of us. We may or may not have something for. Let's see. Feels like you can carry so much speed through one and two. You can get on the right rear well enough and kind of just power right on through it. Probably has to be set up pretty loose for one and two so you can make it through three and four without being too tight. Gosh, did not handle the looseness very well there. Car is getting tight. In three and four, it still feels okay in one and two though. We'll see if I've been tearing the right front off or something. I don't know if I'm doing this right at all. I think Gavin's gonna come back around me here in a minute. I think he's been saving better than I have. Oh, did he get the entry? The, the wall and entry? I think he might have. I think he did the exact same thing that I did earlier. He was following me, looking behind on my bumper. He got the wall. I just overdrove massively. Very bad corner. We'll get a bit of a runoff, but I lost a ton on uh, entry and mid corner. So strange how turn one just jumps out at you, the wall there. It really must just be uh, because of the way that the trioval works here. We still got quite a while to go. back it down even a little bit more into three. But this is a pretty tough intermediate track. It really takes a bit of finesse to get the corners right.
Guy head might have gotten a little bit tight there. Looked like they went toward the wall a little bit. Kevin's coming back again after hitting the wall. I feel like I'm slowly catching up to the four. Oh, I think just overdrove it a little bit, although I did too. Kevin's got good long run pace, I think, because he's faster than, I think, a couple of guys in front of us. He's going to pass us. Head gets real loose on exit. Go. Not quite able to get him on exit there. Okay, if I can get a run, I might be able to get around this guy. The lap time was at 33.0. This is pretty tough, though. This is a really tricky place. I'll try to get around him again, but I think maybe he might be able to get the pass done. I need to be on the brakes longer in three, I think, heading into three. Hopefully we don't lose any more spots. I would like to get the top ten. Go on, Gavin, open the door for me. That's what I was hoping for. really tough though once you get down there on the bottom and the guy on the outside gets a run or something car inside clear inside I'm gonna get a massive run right here <laughs> oh Gavin gets real loose inside. we're just trading spots that's so funny stay high there's a car on the low side five five to go how much does the middle lane work? Not so much. Stay high for the car on the low side. Clear inside. Okay, Colton, push down. Catch up here. Someone got really, really loose up there. Lost the top time. <laughs> Ooh, can we clear him? Not quite. Keep low. Clear. 
Oh my god, it's so loose down there. That is crazy. I can't believe how loose this thing is. I'm just, I'm, I just lost my top ten doing that. No grip at all. That was wild. Clear, car outside. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Stay low. Clear. Swing gets clear. You've got two laps to go. Oh. Really a shame that I got so loose that time, because, uh, that lost me a couple of spots. I don't know if I'm going to get back. <laughs> wow, what a tough, uh... It's very tough to control. White flag, one more to go. Yeah, I think this is where we're finishing here in 12th. Do it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. slow him down. Slow him down real quick. Okay. <laughs> All right. There's the ticket flag. Whew, that was tough. Better schedule some testing. We'll get him next so time. pace gets the win. Looks like. We'll get 12th. So unfortunately, not the top 10, but not so bad for my first time here. Having a good race. <laughs> yeah, and it is. No, nah, that was uh, that was all me for getting loose. What did I end up with? 62-64. So we'll put that in there. Yeah, I burned him off pretty, pretty bad. I'm right there with uh, Justin Yee with the, he got 62-63. Man. So I do feel like I learned something, though. I, I learned uh, how the car will evolve over a run. I learned don't smack the entry of turn one. I probably should have known that already, but uh, I guess what I should really be thinking is don't stare at the bumper in front of you. Pay attention to where you are on the track, because I'm sure we'll see that here in just a moment through the incidents. So that, that looks like something was already happening. So we had the 12, kind of pushing up a little bit, got loose up into the 13. And then the 13 gets loose, comes down, hits the 12, and then the 12 kind of loses it. So that's too bad, that's what happened to him there. Oh, that's not everything. Come on now. I know a. I hit the wall. <laughs> I guess it doesn't want to show wall hits. I mean, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, look at it on my own. It's right here. Ah, I just got stuck to it, too. It wouldn't have been so bad if I didn't get stuck to it. You see, he gets really close. Man, 
and I just got glued. Now the Gavin passed me, and then the three right next to me. And that huge loose moment I'm going to go ahead and take a look at as well. Spot the bad lap time, and that's probably where I'll find it. <laughs> so I was trying to get past Gavin, and I, I almost had him, man. I almost cleared him. But I'm like, man, I, I got to have a good corner here. I got to push hard. It just, I basically drifted through the whole corner. <laughs> it just would not grip up for me. Basically dirt dragging. I'm turning right at this point. Look at that. I'm all the way to the right. <laughs> that is straight up dirt tracking it. I mean, people joke like, yeah, I was dirt dragging around the corner. I mean, I'm literally driving it like it's a dirt car right here. The wheel is turned 90 degrees to the right. And I got throttle in it, and it just would not grip up. <laughs> Obviously not Gavin's fault. It's me just trying to uh, get the spot. I mean, it's not like he was cost to be it. I mean, I was battling too. We're both going for the ninth position with only a couple laps to go. And I just was too stubborn and didn't accept the fact that my car didn't want to grip up and... I probably got, could have gotten out of the slide sooner, but uh, I just I didn't want to give up on the throttle and just lost me all of my momentum. But uh, I guess that's all there that there is to see, since no real other incidents happened apparently. It's me sliding around the corner here in Kentucky, bringing it to a 12th place. Gavin yeah, gets a nice top 10. Shane just ahead of us. And uh, here are the rest of your results. So, that'll do it for this one. I feel like I'll probably uh, give this a, another try or two on my own time. Learn this place a little bit more. Figure out how to uh, maybe save tires a little bit better. I was probably just pushing a little bit too hard. You know, just sliding around when I didn't need to. And... Uh, well, not, not so bad. 4K strength of field. So, we'll finish mid-pack. I'll take it. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.